Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. There are two functions that we use to look up data. The first, hlookup, will look up a data value in a table that's structured in rows with a header column at the left side. The second and more commonly used function is vlookup. VLOOKUP looks up data values in a traditional columnar table. Based on the layout of the table in which you are looking up data, you'll need to use either one or the other to look up a data value in a table. Lookup functions also need more arguments than most functions in order to work. Arguments are the additional pieces of information that a function requires in order to be performed. There are three required arguments and one optional fourth argument that you must know before you can create a lookup function. First, you must know the lookup value. This is the value that you want to look up within the table. It can either be a value that you enter by hand or a cell reference. Second, you need to know the cell address range of the table or list in which you want to look up the first value. This is called the table array. Third, you need to know the column or row index number. This is the number of columns to the right of the leftmost column or the number of rows down from the top row of the table within which Excel must look for the data that you want it to return. It can either be a number or it could be a header name enclosed in double quotes. So for example, if I want to look up the value of A11 in the range of A1 through C6, which column do I want to return a value from? could either be column 1, column 2, or column 3. In this case, if I want to type in a company and have it show me the contact, then I want column 2. So I could just type the number 2 for the column index number. The optional fourth argument is range lookup. This is a logical value, either true or false, which you can enter if needed. If it's omitted, this argument is assumed to be true, what it does is specify whether or not you wish to perform a ranged lookup on the data within your database. If you need to find an exact match on your data, often when you aren't looking up numbers, you can instead type the word false for the range lookup argument to find the exact match in your table. So after we've created our lookup function, we can type, or in this example, the company name, and have it return the contact. And that's an example of using lookup functions in your database. If we look at the actual vlookup function, one thing to note is that when you're typing in the table array value for the lookup function, it may be useful to assign it a range name or make it an absolute reference. Named ranges are always assigned as absolute references and this will ensure that the table array argument will not change if you copy paste the formula. If you don't use named ranges, you can assign the table array as an absolute reference by simply typing the dollar symbol before both the column reference letter and the row reference number for both cell references in the range. Remember, if you don't do this, the lookup function may not work if you copy it to a new location. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!